Pisces, hi. So, um, this is going to be a reading for the month of August 2020. Um, I'll be doing the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card from the Oracle of the Third. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Queen of Wands. You're feeling good in your skin. Of course, this could be your person, like looking at them and being like, oh, so beautiful. You know, but um, I kind of get that this is you, to be honest. Uh, feeling good in your own skin, feeling beautiful, feeling great. Um, starting off the reading, you get the King of Cups crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Nice. To be honest, this takes me into a lot of self-love kind of a situation. Yes, this could be you and somebody else having things working out here pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but it could also refer to you paying a lot more attention to yourself. And giving a lot more to yourself, to you. Um, the focus here, though, is the Nine of Wands. Something's feeling pretty hard, pretty heavy. I don't know what. It could be when you get into this whole self-love situation, it's not easy. It's not easy. When in your life have you said, man, I kind of like me. I kind of love myself here. I'm going to go do something nice with me. <laughs> you know, um, it's not the easiest thing to do. In the recent past, you get the two of swords. That's a lot of confusion, a lot of indecision here. Uh, your strength here, the seven of cups. Ooh, this is nice. This is opening up for you as it kind of feels like even when you feel that there are no options around you, you make them happen. These options, you give life to them. Like you're going to create something out of nothing energy, you know, uh, the immediate future here, the nine of cups, that's really, really great energy. It's happiness. It's uh, emotional fulfillment within you. It's awesome. Supporting this reading. Two people coming together in love. The energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. The five of, what is this? Cups. What is this energy here? What is this floating around somewhere underneath it all? Of sadness. Of regret of looking at the past and being like, what the hell just happened? You know, a little bit of victim mode. You're hoping to uh, stay open to your intuition and the potential outcome, the devil card, which we'll see what that is before I start talking about it. Uh, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the queen of wands. The World card, the Nine of Swords, and the Magician. Why do I get the sense that I've gotten this for you before? I don't know. Uh, somebody here may be trying to end things. Um, possibly unwillingly. In terms of this person may be fearing an ending, and thus an ending is happening. Or... There's something around an ending here, and it's attached to possibly your person rather than you. They're creating it. They're making it happen regardless. So it's coming from them, whether they know it or not. Uh, let me do the King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Nine of Wands. It's hard, see, see, 
that's why when I first laid the cards down, it's like, oh my God, it's so heavenly. It's so, and then underneath that, it's like, no, 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 no. Um, it's kind of hard to get things going in a new direction here with somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like um, it's hard for the both of you for some reason to get things going. There is love in the situation, definitely. But there's also that, um, let's make things harder than they need to be kind of situation here. I don't know on whose side. Uh, let's do the Queen of Pentacles. The Sun, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Alright, so I feel like the both of you want this. I feel like it's it's something that the both of you want for the two of you to come together here. Uh, one of you, and I don't know which one, I kind of get that it's them. Something's very difficult for this person. They're working on possibly their insecurities, their fear, something that's standing in the way here. And that is making things harder than they need to be. There's happiness here. You both want it. You both feel it. There's also communication about this. So I feel like there is open communication about what it is that you two want. Somebody's letting their fears get the best of them. And it could be them. It could be you. I don't know. But I kind of see it on their side. Let's do the nine of wands. And of course, that transfers onto you. That energy of, oh my god, it's hard. And then you feel like it's hard and you don't know why you feel like it's hard because you, you're not feeling that it's hard. You know what I mean? It's from them. See? Unbelievable. The Emperor, the uh, Four of Cups and the, the Lovers. Exactly what I just said. You feel that it's hard. You feel a sense of... Mm, yeah. You may not know where from. It's you two are transferring this energy. You're bouncing it off to one another. There's the emperor. There's the empress here. Definitely a power couple. Definitely a divine couple here with the two of you. However, stop transferring that kind of mess. You know, um, and it's at an energetic level. So I feel like you're not even aware sometimes that you're feeling what they're feeling. Or the other way around. And you feel like it's yours and then you get into a sense of man this connection is not really happy is it uh no if you keep bouncing off that kind of energy you know let's uh clarify the seven of cups there the page of wands the high priestess and the eight of pentacles that's the problem because because in their intuition they're like i know i want to work on this so that they have it clear there they want to work on this they love this connection they love you they want this here comes fear creeping in and the mind kind of tells them but you've got options to make this work you know you can try this and that and the instead of just being in the present and working with what they have in the present which is the present which is emotions, which is let's do this and we'll see where it takes us. Uh, but, you know, when you let the mind interfere and tell you, oh, but you've got so many options. You could try this. You could try that. You could try the other. Just try something, you know, uh, that's the bottom line. But again, I kind of like I want to it's pointless for me to, to even look at you because, again, it feels like the two of you are going through pretty much the same energies. You're borrowing from each other. Um, for the Nine of Cups in the immediate future, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. Exactly. There's this sense of losing this. There's this fear. There's this heaviness to it that one of you started adding to this connection and again it's shared it's becoming shared energy so if they feared that this is going to be over they transferred that onto you and you're feeling it too 
if you did, you transferred it onto them and they're, they're feeling it now too. But the both of you are in this, instead of seeing things for what they are, happy, stable, equal give and take, see, this is the share card of energies. And look what you're sharing. Fear, disaster, the end. That's a fear. Who has that? Get rid of that. You know? Don't get rid of it. Embrace it and just acknowledge its presence. Okay, it's fear. Okay. You know, because um, you can't tell fear, hey, go away, because it's going to come back. You know? It's part of you. It's fine to, to go through all of these emotions. Just take a handle on it. Uh, for the Two of Cups, you get the Star, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. I swear to God, it comes back in the exact same manner with different cards. You both want this. With the Two of Cups and the Star, you definitely both want this. Looking at all aspects and how we can make it happen, and this and that and the other, stop losing yourself in details. That's what's creating the sadness, that's what's creating... because. Yeah, there are millions of possibilities for things to happen, for this happiness to, to come to life. But let it come through one possibility, through being in the present with it and living through it. Instead of thinking of, but this has to happen in order for that to happen and in order for that to happen. And I'm tired already, even thinking about that kind of a scenario. Let me clarify the Five of Cups in the Hidden Energies. There's your person. There's your person um, feeling overwhelmed and feeling a sense that uh, because they get into this overwhelming place of sadness, of despair, of I'm going to lose everything and because I know from the past they did this and they're going to do it again and then they create a whole scenario that makes them fearful and then they have the tendency to turn their back to be like, screw this, I'm out. Of course, it could be you. Uh, let me clarify the High Priestess here. The Four of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Hierophant. High Priestess and the Hierophant. Again, another sign of oof, powerful connection here between the two of you. Uh, neither of you are letting this go, that's for sure. But it's... Uh, it, 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 it's not going to be an easy path to walk on to make this happen. You know that, they know that. Neither of you are letting this go. Regardless of the hardship, regardless of the ups and downs, regardless of the fears and all of that. But currently, somebody is going through some sort of a mm, spiraling down fear. One of you is. And it's taking the other person with them. So if you are the one that's not feeling that fear, just lift up that vibration to get them to help them come out, you know, of that. Let's clarify the, <laughs> let's clarify the devil for the potential outcome. And it's clarified by the devil, the page of cups and the hangman. Uh, somebody's feeling love and they're not expressing it. And that's the devil energy there. Whenever you feel that love for your person, just say it. Just let it out. Um... It's like you're trying to analyze an emotion, a feeling that is being felt. It doesn't need the interference of this. The more you put this into play, the more the feeling goes away. You don't even feel it anymore. You're just talking about love as if it's a story. You know, not something that you feel. So that's the devil energy coming in to, to let you know. Um, if you feel, and not only in the situation, about anything, about anyone friends, family, whatever, you have that urge to show somebody that you love them, show them. And that's it. You know, that's the lesson for you, apparently, at this time. Let's see what the universe has. The Knight of Cups, the World card, and the Ten of Pentacles. All right. 
it's kind of looking like one of those things where, to be honest, I see the world there as a step to the next phase. You know, yeah, it was all good, loving, it was all that honeymoon phase, let's say, you know, and the world card is here as a step to the next level. Stability for life. Commitment here. So this is what's happening here, even though it doesn't look that pretty at times. At times. Overall, it's looking pretty great. Um, all right. Let's see what the fairies have. Flourish. The lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. Did that just say to express love when you feel it? I think so. All right, uh, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Um, hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.